Hello everyone. Welcome to Ohm Institute. I'm Surendra Reddy, faculty for electrical machines at Ohm Institute, Hyderabad. So today we have with us Mr. Harshvardhan. Uh, he secured All India Rank 482 in GATE 2024 examination in electrical engineering paper. So he is our classroom student, uh, and uh, we will try to interact with Harshvardhan, and we will uh, observe what is his preparation strategy. And we will also understand how to prepare for the next upcoming gate examination. So this interview will be useful for the future gate aspirants. Okay. Yes, Harshwadhan, please introduce yourself. So uh, my name is Harshwadhan. Uh, I graduated in Amrita Vishwajya Vitam in uh, Kerala from uh, electrical and electronics engineering. So I appeared uh, gate in uh, 2023 and 24 right after my graduation. I started my preparation and uh, uh, my preparation was not up to the mark uh, while uh, I studied in 2023 and uh, while I, I appeared for the gate, I got uh, somewhat around four, uh, 1400 rank but okay. that is not satisfactory mm -hmm. for me because uh, my aim was to join in PSUs. PSUs. Okay. PSUs. So, uh, so I need a Coach, I need a coaching. So mm -hmm. one of my friend, one of my roommate, mm -hmm. who suggested me to join uh, in Ohm Institute. Like he already uh, done online coaching in uh, Ohm Institute, okay. and he know how the lecturers who, mm -hmm. who were taught there. Okay. So he he suggested me to go for the coaching. Mm -hmm. So right after the year 2023, I joined in mm -hmm. Ohm Institute. Okay. So. so uh, you graduated in the year 2022. 20, 22. 22. Okay. So immediately you started getting Sta preparation. Started preparation. So did you appear for any campus placements in your final? Uh, no, sir, your I college? didn't. Appear. No, no. Okay. So why why did you not opt to any placements? Sir, so because uh, uh, since I studied in electrical and electronics mm -hmm. engineering, yeah. I wanted to do in core sector. Core sector. So most of the companies that were uh, came to our college was mm -hmm. mostly were based on IT sector. IT but sector. I didn't want to join there. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't like that. So, my, my father, uh, who who was, who was the government teacher, okay. he suggested me to uh, write, attempt the gate because through gate we we have uh, quite a, a better amount of choices to mm -hmm. jo join the PSU. Okay. So uh, that is the motivation behind my preparation. Okay. So, so your father motivated, motivated you to go for PSU. PSU. Okay. Because. PSU jobs can offer you better work-life balance okay. and also good, uh, you know, salaries as well. Ah, yes. Okay. Fine. So, what is your first choice of PSU you wanted to go through gate examination? Uh, see, um, because uh, I like power systems and machines so okay. so much in electrical. So, mm. power grid was my first choice. Before. Power grid is your first choice. Okay. okay. So, what about next one? Next one will be NTPCs. 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 Okay. So, and the third choice? Third choice will be uh, based on uh, like IOCL or ONGC. Okay. So, there are many PSUs many recruiting through gate examination. Yes. So, your first choice is uh, power, power grid, grid because you like power systems and machine yes. subjects yes. mostly. Mm -hmm. yeah, power grid means most of the times you'll be working, uh, you know, in uh, power system operation and control mm -hmm. majorly. Yes. Okay, fine. So, that is about Harshwardhan. He wanted to, you know, pursue his career in PSUs. That's why he chose to prepare for gate examination. Okay, then. Um, how did you come to Ohm Institute? How did you know about Ohm Institute? Uh, as I said, uh, my friend suggested me, like, mm. he he already went uh, in, during the Corona batch, okay. uh, Corona, he attempt, he joined uh, online, online class, class. Okay. online class, and he listened to the, all the, all the mm. subjects, mm. but you, he didn't pay much attention because of okay. the online, uh, right, we, right. we cannot interact, mm. right? Mm. So, he, he uh, after the graduation, he was my roommate. Mm. Uh, I come, came to Hyderabad. Okay. He was my roommate, okay. and we prepared by self. All right. All right. Uh, actually, my preparation was purely based on online. Okay. Uh, I uh, I was uh, I don't know anything after the graduation. Mm. So uh, I thought like online coach, uh, not online on on YouTube videos will be okay. sufficient to okay. crack gate, but mm. I was wrong. All right. Uh, because of that, uh, I got strong in not uh, strong in electronics, mm. but I was weak in electrical. Okay. So he uh, he suggested me that uh, in Ohm Institute, uh, mm. uh, electric all the subjects were good, mm. and he he suggested me to go there. Okay. So I, I approached the institute and mm. talked to the. Okay. So. Uh, before coming here, you already prepared for gate examination, gate examination. through YouTube videos. YouTube. 
so but you couldn't uh, secure good results yes. all right fine so then you came for coaching, yeah, coaching. Right. so um, anyway so once you joined coaching uh, that means you already had uh, your preparation already mm-hmm. uh, before appear uh, you know appearing gate 2024 mm-hmm. you already appeared gate 2023 so you already have basic knowledge basic on the subject knowledge. so when you come here so what is your uh, strategy uh, i mean uh, which subjects you wanted to focus more here mostly i, I wanted to focus on electrical core subjects core electrical uh, okay. means uh, machines power okay. systems and mm-hmm. power electronics mm-hmm. and electronic subjects were somewhat i was good mm-hmm. but com- coming to here uh, during the class i used mm-hmm. to listen to the uh, mm-hmm. classes uh the handout questions are very good okay. the handout questions which are prepared uh, for, by by the faculty mm-hmm. they used to provide during the classes okay. so i used to solve during the class by mm-hmm. listening to the class mm-hmm. i used to solve the questions and uh, the that questions really me boosted me like okay. i uh, boosted me the problem at problem solving skills mm-hmm. so i got that okay so very good so anyway uh, so every day as you attend attended the classroom coaching mm-hmm. here so by 4 pm i think the classes will yeah. be finished every day yes. so after 4 pm what you used to do i mean uh, uh, with respect to the preparation uh, sir actually uh, while listening to the class we got to know everything mm. but that is not sufficient to remember uh, like mm. we we need to revise right? right so right after the class i used to go to my room mm. or uh, used to study here only okay. uh i uh, i got any doubts i used to approach the faculty mm-hmm. and i used to revise the classroom notes okay same day same, whatever same is discussed whatever is discussed class, you used to I used revise, revise the same the day same, same day on okay. on the day itself yeah, yeah. on the day itself mm-hmm. and after the uh, revi- revision i used to solve the questions because mm-hmm. learning the concept is not at all enough yes. we need to apply in the through the questions right okay. so i used to solve the handout questions they were pro- uh, mm-hmm. provided by the faculty okay so that is how okay mm-hmm. so you used to revise whatever is discussed in the class Classroom. by the faculty mm. on the same day, same day used to complete the revision mm. that is an important point mm. okay so once you revised that class notes you used to solve handout solve questions. Hand questions so how many times you solved handout questions at least uh, two times three at least times. two times three, three, three times two to three times okay right mm. so uh, what about pyqs previous year questions so if, if a subject is completed uh, then uh, you solve pyqs or after the whole course you started solving pyqs after the subject only like mm. uh, in in home institute they used to conduct classroom tests a- okay. a- after every subject mm. like they they divide the subject into two parts mm. and two or three parts and mm. they used to conduct uh, according to the syllabus okay so and also the good thing was uh, they used to conduct after the subject was completed mm. so there there was at least two weeks gap okay. for the exam mm. Uh, so i used to solve the pyqs during that two uh, two weeks okay. and used to attend the classrooms so That's you practiced all pyqs, PYQs. immediately after, after the subject, the subject. subject not subject. not like once the whole syllabus is completed then practicing pyqs mm-hmm. uh, you you solved every subject mm-hmm. subject by yes. subject okay so that is what harshvardhan practiced all pyqs uh, immediately once a subject is completed in the coaching okay yes. that is a good thing actually so don't wait till the syllabus is completed completely you just start solving pyqs whenever a subject is completed okay yes. and uh, did you you know took classroom tests seriously uh, yes sir yes? seriously okay because i need to know where where are the mistakes yeah right? yeah so, so uh, then in case if you committed any mistake mistakes. how did you use to solve it i mean how did you rectify the mistakes i used to approach the faculty, faculty. They, okay. they, they they will be available mm. the whole day okay. so i used to uh, approach them and mm. they will they will try to solve it in uh, their way and in mm. my way and if there are any mistakes they used to rectify them and okay. solve them okay yeah. so that is how you covered your yeah. mistakes covered. fine so let's coming to the just before the gate examination mm. okay so when did your whole syllabus is completed uh, in the month of october sir. in the month of october. october so october means november december january, january. so you have 3 months left 3 months before the gate yes. examination so what did you uh, you know do in these 3 months so what is your strategy sir uh, uh, after the course was completed mm. uh, i approached the faculty uh, mm. hamon sir gautam okay. sir mm. you you okay. also approached mm. 
so they suggested me to uh, divide the subjects mm. into three parts like okay. the whole syllabus mm. the maths is the uh, most uh, dominant subject dominant subject in the whole gate yes so it, it bears more weight as so mm. i used to solve daily two hours two to three hours daily two daily to three two hours, two hours two for three mathematics, mathematics dedicated to mathematics dedicated for to the mathematics. whole three months whole three months okay good and uh, for whole three months i used to do that mm. and uh, i planned the day in a such a way that i used to i have to study for a, at least 10 hours 10 hours 10 to 12 day. but not from the right uh, not mm. from the start but i used to uh, increase the time gradually, gradually increase mm. the time so mm. from from the beginning i used to study for 10 hours mm. so 2 2 hours for mathematics okay. and remaining 8 8 to 7 hours mm. i used to uh, divide it into two parts and mm. uh, i used to study core subject one uh, one half and okay. electronic subject in other half right so, so overall your day will have three parts three parts so one part is dedicated to mathematics, mathematics. for the entire three months entire november three december january. january so remaining seven to eight hours you have a half part for core, core electrical core electrical and a half part for electronics, electronics, electronics like analog digital, analog digital circuits uh, control, control systems right, right control systems that will be common subjects common to subjects electrical to electrical electrical. okay fine so uh, during these three months uh, i mean your coaching is completed mm. you solved already all pyqs mm. handout questions mm. etc mm. so what are the other things you did in the three, uh, three months uh, so did you attempted online test series yeah i attempted online test series which okay. was provided by one mm. instructor uh, the questions were very good like mm. uh, after the syllabus after the subject is completed I, during the subject revision i mm. used to solve pyqs okay. and handouts again the cycle was repeated mm. so after the subject was completed i used to uh, attempt the test series like uh, topic based test okay topic and based. Initially. initially topic mm. based test mm. then the, when the subject is completed i used to uh, attempt the uh, subject based test okay so mock test i used to uh, attempt in, in the month of january, january. because uh, the tempo should be completed like okay. it should be uh, mm. habituated so that how many mock tests you attempted at least uh, 10 to 12 sir. 10 to 12 mock exams you attempted exams. so i mean generally uh, most of the students when they attempted mock exams mm. uh, in case if you attempt first mock exam mm. let's say you got very less marks mm. so uh, let's say uh, in case if you got very less marks mm. how do you you know overcome that uh, you know disappointment because if you score less marks in any mm. mock exam, obviously it will be disappointing. Right? Yes. So how how did you use it to overcome it? Uh, I um, I got very demotivated at mm. that time uh, okay. while uh, for the first exam mm. or first uh, initially two exams, mm. I got very demotivated. Mm. So I approached the faculty okay. like I'm I'm doing these kind of mistakes. Mm. So how to overcome them? Okay. So they provided me some strategies that mm. uh, it will help me. Okay. So I I followed them. All right. Did More. you find improvement? Yeah, improvement. Uh, initially, I got around 30, 30 to 35 marks, mm. but that, that was not sufficient because mm. it was almost a second year. So right, right. Uh, that should be an improvement. So mm. uh, after the faculty who who taught me to mm. uh, approach in a new strategy, okay. so I I followed them. Mm. So uh, uh, step by step, step by step, at the end, I used to score at least... 50 to 60 marks. 50 to 60 50 to 60 in the final marks. exam, how much you got? I got 50 marks. Okay, it's a low scoring exam actually. Yes. Uh, get past two years electrical paper, especially it's a low scoring exam. Okay. Yes. So you got 50 marks. 50 marks. So in mock exams, you use it to get 50, 50 to, 60. to 60 marks. So what Harshwadhan is saying is, he attempted 10 to 12 mock exams, especially in the month of January. In the initial papers, he used it to score low marks. Then later he approached the faculty faculty gave some guidelines, guidelines. and inputs for you mm. and he keep on improving himself that is very important so once you complete the mock examination you have to assess yourself don't write exam and leave it aside and attempt for the next exam without checking what the mistakes you have done yes. that is useless right so you have to assess yourself you have to take the feedback from the test mm. wherever you committed Complete mistakes, mistakes you have to revise those revise topics them. again and then uh, go for the next mock examination with much better preparation. Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. So finally, uh, what is your uh, suggestion for the future aspirants? Okay. Preparing for gate examination. Sir, the suggestion will be since I, uh, I started uh, in uh, after the graduation, it mm. almost took me two years. Okay. So uh, I suggest them to start initially in the month of, no, not in the month, in the year of third year. Okay. Third year ending itself. like mm. Because uh, I after the third year uh, they can they almost complete almost 80 percent of the gate syllabus mm. so it will be helpful 
to them if they start from there itself so okay. that they can uh, crack the gate easily easily, easily. Mm. so harshavardhan started his gate preparation after the completion of his graduation okay so that means he didn't prepare till the end of the fourth year only after fourth year he started his preparation and it took two years for him that's why what harshavardhan saying is don't waste your time if you have the intention to crack the gate examination start early that means in the in the third year third itself year if itself. a student start because majority of the gate examination syllabus is from second year and third year uh, you know academics only finally academics will have very little role maybe around 10 percent only percent. the syllabus yeah, will, right so majority syllabus is from second year and third year academics that's why you better start preparing from third year itself so that in final year you can get much better rank yes. and also i use it to observe in majority of the colleges or universities mm -hmm. fourth year workload is usually less very less, uh, very less very less only the project project yes only. project and project campus placements, campus placements, placements only. Only. okay right so even in case if you got a placement uh, because companies are taking almost seven eight seven to eight months to give joining letters some companies are not even giving joining letters after one year also mm -hmm. that's why yes. in case if you have a you know uh, plan to go for it sector still you can keep gate examination as plan b in case if they did not give you joining letter early or uh, in case if there is any problem in the recruitment you can keep uh, gate examination as plan b so that you can go for uh, mtech in iits or M okay yes. and start early so that you can gain yes. a good rank yes. at the early age, early right? age. Right. very good so that's about harshavardhan and uh, i wish you all the very best harshavardhan thank, thank you so much